Now I've saved this last pocket on the front of the video for uh, a part all on its own. So we'll bring it towards our face so we can see it nicely. Now you might think that well, we'll just put an ellipse in there. So we could use this tool over here, this one here, but we need to find the center to, to do an ellipse. So we'll put a construction line in. We'll see we've got the hatched cursor, so we need to choose the sketch plane. So that does that. So we've got to find the center of the ellipse to draw it. So we'll find the center of that line and we. But although it's a nice looking ellipse, it doesn't fit the contours properly. Now that may be important, we don't know. In any case, this is far too simple, just drawing an ellipse. We want to learn things, so we want to learn how to cancel that. We want to learn how to draw an arc here, a bigger arc there, and then connect the two with an, another arc which is quite a nice piece of geometry to, uh, to learn how to do that. Now the first thing, we'll get rid of that one. We'll put another construction line in, this time from the center of each of the end circles. Now we can draw That's a. F we see here that this is a point two six six radius. You see that's quite accurate. That's obviously to f to fit something. So one point two six six. We need that in a diameter. So that's point two six six times two. And this one is 0.375, which is 0.75, but just to practice this, 0.375 times 2 is the same thing. Return. Now this is the tricky part. We need to draw a curve here of 3 inches radius that touches this circle somewhere about here and this circle somewhere about here now we don't know exactly where so we can't just go three inches over here somewhere and touch there and there we've got to calculate something now the red this radius has got to pass through each circle center to get to the its uh, circle so if we draw two circles, one with a radius of three inches minus that radius and another one three inches minus that radius, we'll get our coincident point over here somewhere. So we're going to draw, there we've got the circle chosen. So the radius of this circle in here is 0.375. We're asking for a diameter to draw this big circle, which is going to be, we'll start with assuming that it's the, the, a radius, so that's, we're going to put a bracket, three inches minus 0.375 bracket times 2 to make it a diameter. Return. Same over here. Bracket 3 minus 0 0.266 
bracket times two. Return. And there we have a coincident point. Now we could draw a sweep curve, or we could just put another circle in it at three inches radius. So let's do that. Now we can just type in six for the diameter. And there, look, we'll get rid of the drawing. We've now got a circle touching there and there, hopefully. Trim. Ah, now then, what I should have done, I'm going to back out. Before I draw that circle in, what I'm going to do is right click on this construction line, set it as a mirror line. Now we can put our circle in and we're getting two. See, there's another one over here happening. So we type in our six inches. Turn off the drawing. Trim tool. Doing all this stuff away. Bit of a drudge that, but there you go. Just a little bit more. There we are. We don't need that anymore. Turn that away. So now we've got our clever little cut out here, which we can pull. And on the drawing, I think it's 1.5 deep. I'll put Jack 1.5 there. You are. And there's the output jack pocket. Hope you found that exciting and interesting. Stand by for more in part 7.